welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... You know? Considering that Yako, like, exploded in here... Well, I don't know, blood flew everywhere and he fell down, he didn't literally explode. But considering Yako died here and splattered Elma with blood, you'd think there would be more blood on the ground. Last time we read up a bunch of stuff on the FBC's uh, latest understanding of the Dark Presence. And, uh... Had a chat with Ilmo, and uh, we put a whole shitload of stuff on the case board. Know anything about the clicker? Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Come up with a new plan, ask Estevez about the clicker. Done. A deduction is available. Estevez, the FPC, identified the clicker as a paranatural item. They believe it has power. The clicker can fix this. But I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. I did see something just to pop up there. Oh, profiling, of course. But first, we'll talk to Casey. You really forgot everything? You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... No. And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Turns out the cult was fighting Taken. So the cult of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Huh. Too many versions of the truth. I can't wait to put this case behind us. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. Hmm. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Making puns now. Save after all that dialogue and, uh... Oh yes, profiling. Uh, Tor! Of course! I can just reach out to Tor from anywhere! Trusting Wake. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. 
how can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. Ha! Huh. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Uh, the line, he, write, he uh, rides a storm on your peace and wake up and smell the danger were from, uh, for God's sake. Yeah, they were from, uh, uh, Oh, Balance Slays the Demon. Yes, yes, the one from American Nightmare. Rescuing Wake. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Fuck. There wasn't a new one there, was it? No. Huh. But how do we... How do we get the writing without a writer? And who in the fuck are we going to convince to write anything here if we're telling them the whole story? The clicker can be used by anyone so long as the holder believes in the power of the art's message. How to rescue Wake. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. Oh, fuck. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. <gasps> Rose! Rose's fan fiction about Alan coming back, but that would also make zombies happen and... The fucking love triangle with a soldier. Keep your chin up, says this lozenge rapper. He's doing a lot of reading and talking today. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. Share the plan with Casey and Estevez. I've got a plan. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue, so I'm going to say not yet. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. Oh, I can talk to Elmo again. The town still needs you. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Yeah. 
gun out, so at least it's a safe place now. Okay, how many lines are there in each drawing? One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try one, four, six. new. That is new. Beware the cult of the tree. Lighthouse key. Oh, fuck. Rifle ammo, shotgun rounds, a flashbang, and a flare. Is that a rocket flare? I think it's a rocket flare. What do you mean case closed? Oh, was that the last one? Cult stashes. Case closed. It's funny, I don't have the other one. Well, all right. That's all the stashes. These people were well prepared. I think I finally found all the cult stashes in the area. I'm sure were a lot of these scattered around. Stash found inside the Bright Falls Sheriff's Station. Yeah, yeah. Found all the Bright Falls area cult stashes, and the description of this one is... A stash inside the station? Is law enforcement involved? Who can I trust? Well, I feel satisfying. Still, one more lunchbox in the Bright Falls area. I'm going to put the Mayor Setter uh, charm back on and go over to the park, because I've got a feeling about that. I've also got something itching at the back of my mind, like there's something that's supposed to be in this building that's not here. in there? Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, safe room. That's right. Is it weird that Alan and Saga both get a regular shotgun? Actually, no. The one Alan has, uh, isn't it also a two-shotter? I wonder if in New Game Plus you actually get to read the files that Tim wanted to give you. I wonder why I find myself referring to him as Tim, but I referred to his aunt as, uh... Is it aunt or cousin? I don't remember. Referring to Sarah Breaker as just Breaker. So it's because they're both Sheriff Breaker and he came along second. Oh, I suppose I should close that again. Really glad it wasn't the math one last. That would have been really unsatisfying. Now, since I was handed those uh, answers by a person who was better at math than me. My brother. What 
about in this closet? I don't know what that means. Oh, conversation, new choices. Yes, that would be because of... Uh sure, I was just distracted by realizing that technically this isn't the, uh, the evidence room. This antechamber in front of it is... According to the labels, anyway. Hmm. Oh, well. Where are all these people? Just standing out in the rain. Hello. No, oh, she's too busy touching her face and hopping from one foot to the other. It's like they know the shit's about to kick off. Anybody seen one I like emotionals about? Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Costco brothers locked up in there. I saw them go Anybody in Anybody seen one of like emotional oh spell? Dear. Who knows? If Probably it's not one got thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Costco the brothers locked up in there. I saw them go in earlier. Oh dear. Probably got them for what happened to poor Mocha the most. Mm. That was weird. I think that hardware store over there we just uh, looked at is where uh, Barry uh, equipped himself with the headlight and the, uh, the string of Christmas lights he wrapped around himself. Although since the first game also took place right before Deerfest, I'm not sure why they even had Christmas lights on display. Those two guys I saw through the other way. I'm still seeing spots from those lights. What the heck was that about? Can anybody see inside? Are, are they still there? Every time something exciting happens in this town, I miss it. I'm still seeing spots right. from those lights. What the heck was that about? Can anybody again. see inside? Are, are they still there? Every time something exciting happens in this town, I miss it. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Sorry, that's the vibe I'm getting from that weird phenomenon. Nothing appearing in the park. Well, where the hell is the last of the, uh... Oh, I guess that could be over here, too. Fuck. Well, I definitely want to find that last, uh... Bunch box before we finish the game. If weren't for the fact that the lighthouse is in water, I'd just assume it was there. Ooh, maybe that's where the last deer head is. I want that, too. I guess the diner is open all night. I think this might have been... Is that the theme from the first game? D 
your head if I pet that one? Well, there's the timer. So, I'm going to go head over to Watery before I uh, sign off, and so I don't forget. I wonder how much stuff they let you keep in New Game Plus. Be real, real handy to have that one from the beginning. I don't like all this chaos right before Deerfest. Maybe I should just stay here for the night and make sure no harm comes to my creation. It's a float. I'm sure it'll be fine. What do you know? You're just an apprentice. You have no idea the pressures a professional like me is under. I tried standing perfectly still that time because I thought the first time it happened, the guy started talking, uh, started the conversation over when I looked directly at him again. Of course, that's just one data point, so it's inconclusive, but, uh... Well, I'll be damned. Now there's a page next to my car. The cult finds the clicker. Turn three, local girl. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalin knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Everything after uh, if something else washed ashore, the light switch is uh, a, is a new addition. Speaking of this page that's suddenly here, shout out to Elthwar, who says, "I guess pages appearing are done to add a little more to the backtracking, since the bolt cutter is already more or less demanded it." I can't say the Koskelas were too off to assume that the uh, lake was producing monsters and to beware of anything that came out of it. They are missing a bunch of details that change the picture entirely of Alan, but still they have a reasonable idea of how dangerous it is, but this just raises the question of why, considering how dangerous the lake is, they are willing to bring tourists past the security fence into the lake at all. Huh, that's actually a really good point. Uh, no, not the lake. Watery. Like, that could be a live-action video right there. Those are very good graphics right there. Good old Suomi Hall. Established 1862 reminds me of a line I heard once. About the difference between the Americans and the British. Holy fuck, it's foggy. And they said that the difference is that, uh... Americans believe that... A hundred years is a long time. And the British believe that a hundred miles is a long way. Hi, Mayor Setter! I don't think I actually said it last time. The sheriff station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, they locked up that crime writer, you know. The one who disappeared in Bright Falls years ago. And then, they find him, and boom! All hell breaks loose. Big city folk. The FBI. Famous writers. Ugh. They're all bad luck, if you ask me. Hmm. I didn't actually do this last time, so, uh... Good boy. Very good boy. Must be very stressful being the mayor of this town. What 
the hell? I didn't see these before. Moose Fest meets Suomi Hall. Raffles, karaoke, and skits. Moose Fest is watery, it's version, right? And then it says, Glogi, Korva Pusti, and Karjalanpiraka. Holy shit. I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of that so I can translate that for next time. Nobody's looking at me as he said that. Welcome to Coffee World. One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koskela, who, with the help of his brother Yako, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Have I seen this? Huh. Let's see. Elmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages, and right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for, and of course, lots of delicious, fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. <laughs> How did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. What's even more important to me than my many successful businesses is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process, too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction to the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible! But the Slow Roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic, and the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You might never know what treasures you might find. Coffee, at least, I bet. Yes. Oops. What's this about Nessie? Okay. Uh, there's a couple of these, so... I'm just gonna hit the save point and pick up on that next time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I guess since we're going up against the end game for Saga, I'll, uh... See you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2 when we read that thing out there and then head over to the lighthouse to see what mysteries await inside. Not for sure that's what the end of the game was going to be, but apparently it's going to be at the lake, which I guess makes sense. Till then, be well, take care of yourselves, and stay in the light.